<laughs> so we were talking about momentum. Momentum, yes. I remember last time we were talking, we were talking about how you're like, I want to make sure that I, my, the guys don't kind of rest on the, the laurels of their success that they've had already and kind of get complacent, right? Um, okay, a couple strategies that I was kind of thinking about for maintaining that. Um, what did I write down? Okay, one thing you could do is like, why don't you every two weeks on a Saturday, maybe you guys do like a team blitz just for like a door knocking blitz or something. Well, I guess you have canvassers, don't you? Well, still, your guys still go out in the neighborhood. Sometimes I, I haven't really used my canvassers much. Okay. I didn't need them. Okay. It's, we're just hitting, we're still on the referrals. Okay. Still. Okay, perfect. So. Well, gosh, there's so many things that you can do. Well, what if every two weeks you just organize, you know, from 10 to 2 or from 10 to 1 even, just three hours. So that'd be plenty probably. Just do like a team, like you guys meet for breakfast at Denny's or something at, at 9 or 8.30, you know, get together. I like where, I like where you're going with it. I, I get it. I think I like that. Yeah, like make it a team and make, there can be an incentive at the end. Like whoever, like there should be a goal. You could do it one of two ways. Like let's say that you have, how many salesmen do you have again, Joe? Four? Five. Five guys. Okay, so you have five guys. So between burgers and fries, <laughs> five guys, yeah. burgers and fries. Anyways. Yeah, I I caught that reference because I just thought it. Yeah. Did you? Uh, I have the mind of a 24-year-old woman. Perfect. That means that you yeah. and I have more in common than we originally <laughs> thought because I happen that's to right. be a 25-year-old woman. Oh, that's hmm. great. But what you guys could do, make it like, um, let's say that in three hours, the guys should each really get six appointments each. If you were to get two an hour, that would be like really expected, right? Because in an hour, let's say that depending on how many people you talk to, two, like two minutes to a door, I don't know, how many, 30 doors. So let's say in an hour they hit 30 doors. Even a bad knocker should get two appointments out of that, right? So, a bad knocker. Yeah, like they should be able to set up two appointments per hour. So that being said, if you have five guys and you're doing it for, every time I say five guys, and you do it for three hours, and they should get two. What's five times three times two? 30, right, as a team? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Five times three times two, yes. So let's just say, and even if you wanted to make it easier than that, you could do it five times five per guy or something. I don't know. But it's like, okay, guys, we're going to go out, and we're either going to knock for three hours or hit get 30 appointments set up, whichever comes first. If you guys go out there in an hour and get your 30 – Let's call it quits and then we'll go get beers, like go to happy hour or something like that. Um, or you could say a number of doors. So everybody, like you guys as a team want to knock, I don't know, what, what would somebody knock if you're knocking 30 doors an hour, 3 90 a piece? Shit. Or even just say 75. Yeah, like 100 doors I'd a piece. I'd say 100. Or, <laughs> Round numbers. 100 is so shitty. I don't even want to think about knocking that many. But let's say, you know, maybe they each knock like... 50 or 75 doors a piece or but if they each knocked 100 we could clear a neighborhood in a day exactly and you could make it an ins you could make it like whoever gets to the their six first gets a hundred bucks or you know some sort of incentive like you can do something little and highly consumable so that you're not like you i'm gonna give you an ipad like it doesn't have to be something like that but you know what it is what it's like when people have a hundred bucks cash. It's like at the end of the day, you can grab it and go to the strip club or whatever. Like, you know, people sure. just want to be able to grab that and go like those little tangible rewards are highly incentivized items for whatever reason. So you could do something like that. Imagine what that would do for your guys' momentum. If you did that every two weeks, it's not a huge commitment. You can make it a very team oriented thing. So like it's, it's fun, even though it's door knocking, you know, like you guys all get together and uh, maybe every time someone gets an appointment, they have to text you, you know, what they got. And so then you're blasting out to everybody like, hey, Chad just got three inspections lined up. Chad's in the lead. Like, who's going to catch? You know, so you're every time it's like, we got one, we got one, we got one. And that just kind of increases morale and it gets the energy sure. going and increases belief and all that stuff. Plus, it kind of like for the people who aren't so good at self-discipline or making themselves get out there and do it or they get in their head too much 
this makes it a really, this gives them a lot of confidence to go out there and participate, you know? So for someone like Todd, that's his Todd, right? You said the new dude. Okay. So for yep. someone like him, he's feeling kind of shit. He's getting in his own head when he's out there on his own, he's talking himself out of stuff. He's probably feeling a little negative. Well, when he's out there with the whole group, everybody's getting some results. He's a part of it. That really changes it for him, you know, and really forces them to get some appointments. Cause you know what it's like when you're out there by yourself and it's hot and you're knocking doors and maybe you've met an asshole that's like called you a scam artist. And then you go to the next one, like a bunch of people say no or whatever. When you're by yourself, by the time you get to like the 15th or 20th door, you're just like, fuck it. I'm going to go home. But <laughs> when you're yes. with, when you're out there and it's a whole team thing, well, you're not going to go home until the goal has been accomplished or the time is up. You know, they're not going to go and hide in their truck. Hopefully, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hopefully not. So, yeah. But that's a great way to do it because every two weeks... I like that. Yeah. I, I do like that. I don't know if I can get everything organized every two weeks, mm -hmm. but I, I think at least once a month, that's a great idea. And even once a month, like if you guys seriously hit 400 doors as a team, like that's crazy because most guys are probably only honestly knocking 30, 40, 50 doors a week on their own. Sure. So you get 400 and that whoosh sets a huge wave. Then they're going to deal with those over the next two weeks or four weeks and then do it again. It's like, now you have another pile. Deal with those. And you have another pile. So plan it out as far as like where they're going to go. Um, but I don't know. Like when we used to work in our chasing company, people were weird about territories. Like, dude, Chad's in my territory. It's like. Yeah, I, I don't allow that. As a matter of fact, what I do is I give other salespeople leads from their places. If there's no reason not to. Like. It, it benefits everybody the more that they see your company because they don't go, oh, well, that's Eric. They go, oh, that's EcoStar. You know, that's why I do it. Exactly. 